Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have an intermediate full body Pilates workout for you to kickstart the new year with a bang. So when you're ready to get started, take a cross-legged position on your mat, sitting up nice and tall. Inhale, roll your shoulders back, open your chest. Exhale, round your spine, gaze towards your navel. Two more times. Inhale as you open through your heart center. Exhale as you round. One more. Gently warming up our spine here. Then coming to your straight spine. Inhale, reach your right arm up. Exhale, side bend over to your left making sure your right sitting bone stays firmly grounded into your mat. Feeling a beautiful stretch for the right side of your body. And then switch sides. Inhale, reach your left arm up. Exhale, side bend over to your right. Gazing up towards the sky if that feels good for you. Then come back through center. Take your legs out in front of you and hold on to the back of your thighs. Inhale, lengthen through your spine, then exhale, round your spine down vertebra by vertebra all the way down to your mat. Walk your heels in just for a moment and then imprint your spine. So press your lower back down into the mat. Lift your legs to a tabletop position and extend your arms up towards the sky. On your exhale, lower your left leg down to the mat as you reach your right arm overhead. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, right leg lowers, left arm reaches back. Inhale, inhale center. Keep going with this, making sure that each time you extend your leg and arm out, that you're keeping your lower back pressing down into the mat really maintaining that strong core. Just two more. Last one. Beautiful. Squeeze your thighs together now and lift your head and shoulders up, reaching your hands by your hips, ready for your hundreds. So start pumping your arms nice and strong. It's inhale two, three, four, five, and exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Now stay here or extend your legs up towards the sky, turning your toes out, keeping your heels together. Whichever option that you're picking, really make sure that you're squeezing your thighs together, you're reaching through your fingertips, and dropping your chin slightly down towards your chest. You can do it. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. You're almost there. Just one more round, let's go. Big inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Well done, rest your head. Turn your head right and left to release any tension and then set your feet back down on the mat. Press your hands down by your side and then lift your left leg up towards the sky. Rotate your left leg out so that your toes are turned out. On your inhale, flex your foot lower the leg straight down. Exhale, point your toe, kick the leg up. Four more times. Inhale, flex and lower. Exhale, point and kick. Really trying to keep the leg as straight as you can, waking up our inner thigh. From here, let's create circles now. So inhale, lower the leg straight down. Exhale, open it to the side and lift back up. Four more in this direction. Trying to keep your hips here as still as you can. So using your abdominals to control the movement. And now reverse it. 
open it to the side, lower it, bring it through center and kick back up. Four more. Keeping the beautiful turnout of your left leg and using your core to keep your hips nice and still. And last one, well done. Bend your left knee in, lift your head and shoulders up and hug your left knee in towards your chest. Extend your right leg and let's pull our knee in two times. So exhale, exhale and switch. Exhale, exhale and switch. Beautiful job. Just six more of these. Staying as lifted as you can through your upper body, really using your core to stay lifted. Last one. Well done. Let's set our left foot down on the floor now and extend our right leg up towards the sky, turning our right thigh outwards so our toes are turned out. Inhale, flex the foot and lower. Exhale, point your toes and lift. Four more. So just like what we did on the other side, now working our right inner thigh. Last one. Let's go back to those circles. Inhale, lower it straight down. Exhale, open to the side and lift back up. Four more. Remembering to keep your hips nice and still and also being careful that your left knee doesn't want to move around too much. And now reverse it. Open it to the side, bring it through center and lift back up. Inhale as you open and lower. Exhale as you lift back up. Just two more. Last one. Well done. Bend your right knee in. Lift your head and shoulders. Hug your right knee in. Extend your left leg. Pull the knee in two times and switch. Nice. Exhale, exhale. Inhale, switch. Exhale, exhale. Inhale, switch. Keep breathing guys, you're doing really well. Last one. Well done. Hug both knees in towards your chest now, getting ready for our double leg stretch. Inhale, extend both arms and legs out. Exhale, hug your knees back in. So inhale, extend. Exhale, pull. Making sure that as you extend your arms and legs out, that you're keeping your lower back pressing down into the mat. Just two more. Last one, hold your legs extended. Reach your hands by your hips and let's flutter kick our legs for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, you can do it, five, four, three, two, and one well done hug your knees in turn your head right and left to release any tension set your feet down on the mat inhale reach your arms overhead exhale lift your head and shoulders hold on to the back of your thighs to help yourself up inhale lengthen your spine exhale roll yourself all the way back down with control and inhale, arms reach overhead. We do this four more times. Option to take your hands behind your thighs to help you. Or if you want the extra challenge, you can release your hands from your legs and really use the strength of your core to control the movement. Let's do two more. Really finding length through your spine as you come up to seated. Last one. Well done. Let's stay seated now. Take your hands underneath your shoulders with your fingertips pointed forward. Press through your heels and lift your hips up, squeezing your glutes. Keeping your hips nice and lifted, exhale, lift your right knee up, inhale, bend your elbows, exhale, press, 
inhale set the foot down so you exhale lift inhale bend exhale press inhale lower so one breath per movement here we are working our triceps the backs of our arms as well as our core and our glutes Try to keep your hips nice and still as you lift one leg up to tabletop and try to keep your hips as lifted as you can as you bend through your elbows. You're doing really well. Let's hold both feet down now. Really press through your shoulders and pulse through your arms 10 times. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Lift your hips a few more inches and then carefully lower them back down. Release your arms forward. Take a nice inhale. Then exhale, roll yourself all the way back down to your mat. Shuffle your heels in towards your glutes again to find your imprinted spine and then lift your legs to a tabletop position. Open your knees and keep your toes together. Interlace your hands behind your head, keeping your elbows nice and wide. And then let's flex our feet and lift our head and shoulders up, coming into our curl. On your inhale, shoot your legs out to the diagonal exhale curl back in so inhale extend and lower exhale curl back in you've got it really working the whole abdominal area here let's do two more last one hold your curl Point your toes and extend your legs up towards the sky. Keeping your head and shoulders lifted or letting your head rest back down on the mat. Inhale, lower your legs straight down and exhale, lift them back up. So inhale, lower and exhale, lift. Keeping that Pilates turn out, so with your heels together and your toes turned out, really squeezing your thighs together. This is a challenging exercise, so if you need to rest your head back down, please do. You can do it, making sure your lower back stays in contact with the floor. And last one, well done. Let's bicycle switch it out to finish this series. So switch and switch bringing opposite elbow to opposite knee really getting into our obliques let's speed it up just for 10 and 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 Woo! Well done, rest your head, hug your knees in, turn your head right and left if you need to. And then lift your legs to a tabletop position, hold on to the back of your thighs, lift your head and shoulders, and then reach your toes towards the bottom of the mat to help you come all the way up to seated. Well done guys, that was a challenging little ab series. Let's move on now and come on to our hands and our knees. Draw your navel in and find that nice long line all the way from the crown of your head to your tailbone. Extend your left leg back, pointing your toes. Let's lift our left leg up and down just 10 times. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Really finding length each time that you lift your left leg up making sure not to arch through your spine last one hold your leg lifted we have a combo bend your elbows and press then pull your left knee to your left elbow and extend back so one tricep push-up 
and then pull the knee to your elbow and extend back. Just breathing naturally here, focusing on controlling the movement as best you can, all while maintaining that beautiful Pilates posture. You've got it, just four more of these. Really pressing through those arms to come out of your push-up. Two more. And last one. Well done. Hold your leg extended, flex your foot and pulse the leg up 10 times. You lift and lift. Just eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two and one. Beautiful. Rest your left knee down for a moment and then lower down onto your forearms, making sure your elbows are underneath your shoulders and you're lifting up through your navel. Lift your left leg up, bending your left knee and pointing your toes. Another little combo. We lower the knee, open the knee to the side, lower, then press back up. So you lower, open to the side, lower and then press back up. Exhaling each time that you lift the leg, inhaling as you bring it back through center. Really working the base of our glute here as well as the outside of our glute. Let's do one more. Now hold your toes pointed up towards the ceiling, flex your foot and let's pulse the leg up 10 times. Press and press for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one. Point your toes back to our combo. You open, close, lift and lower. Open, close, lift and lower. Just six more. You should really be feeling a nice little heat through that right glute. Keep pressing through your shoulders, lifting up through your navel. Last one. Now hold your knee open, box out your left arm, pressing your left hand into the mat and let's lift the left knee up 10 times. You lift and lift, just eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two and one. Hold the leg lifted, extend the left leg back and then pull your knee towards your left tricep. So you extend and pull. Inhale as you extend, exhale as you pull the knee forward. You can do it, guys. Last one, hold your leg extended, lift the leg up 10 times. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, let's do 10 more. 10, nine, little surprise. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Lower your knee down. Press back into a child's pose and flip your palms up towards the ceiling to release any tension through your shoulders. Then from here, come to your hands and your knees, curl your toes under and press back into a downward facing dog. Pedaling your heels, releasing any tension through your legs. And then carefully walk your hands back towards your feet and roll your spine all the way up to standing. Keeping your feet hip distance apart in parallel, let's come down into a narrow squat and then press up. So inhale, squat down, exhale, press up. Making sure that you're shifting your weight all the way back into your heels Sending your glutes far behind you, keeping that straight spine and your navel drawing up towards your spine. 
last one hold low in your squat lift your right heel and lower then your left heel and lower so just alternating lifting one heel at a time as you keep your hips super low in that squat just two more well done reach your arms by your ears and let's pulse it down for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and one lift your chest standing up nice and tall take a nice deep inhale and exhale forward fold bringing your hands down to the mat walk your hands forward and let's come back to our hands and our knees getting ready to work our other glute so this time let's extend our right leg back behind us draw your navel in and press through your shoulders lift your right leg up and down exhale lift inhale lower just eight more keeping your gaze towards the top edge of your mat so that your neck stays in line with your spine just two more last one hold your leg lifted back to our combo one tricep push up and then pull your right knee to your right tricep and extend back one push up pull the knee forward extend the leg back just breathing naturally here focusing on the control of your movement really using the strength of your arms to lower yourself down and press yourself up all in one straight line you're doing really well let's do two more and last one well done hold your leg extended flex your foot and pulse the leg up and up just eight more seven six five four three two and one lower your right knee down come down to your forearms now making sure your elbows are underneath your shoulders and draw your navel in press your right leg up towards the sky pointing your right toes let's return to our combo so lower the knee open your knee to the side close and then press back up so you lower open close and press just six more of these making sure that as you press your leg up towards the sky that you're not arching through your back so keep drawing your rib cage down towards your hips keeping that beautiful straight spine let's do one more then hold the press flex your foot and pulse the leg up for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 well done point your toes lower your knee back to our combo open close press and lower open close press back and lower just six more of these keep gazing in between your wrists making sure your neck stays in line with your spine and keep pressing through your shoulders just one more then hold your right knee open box out your right arm pressing your palm into the mat lift your right knee up for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 extend your right leg back now and then pull the knee forward to your right elbow so inhale extend exhale pull really reaching through your right toes as you extend the leg back you can do it 
two more last one hold your leg extended pulse the leg up ten nine eight seven six five four three two and ten more let's go ten nine really reach and seven six five four three two and one well done set your knees down press back into your child's pose again and flip your palms up towards the sky take one deep breath here and then carefully roll your spine up let's come on to the right side of our body now resting our head in our hand create one long line with your body and then rotate your left leg out so your heels are together and your toes are turned out we bend our left knee extend the leg up to the sky flex the foot and lower so inhale as you develop the leg up to the sky exhale as you lower really flexing your foot and squeezing your heel down towards your bottom heel with control to help activate through our inner thighs really try to control the lower as best you can let's do one more beautiful now from here let's kick the leg straight up flex the foot and lower so you kick straight up flex and lower with control really trying to find that nice resistance through your own body here squeezing your inner thighs together as you lower the leg down this is great not only for the strength of our legs but also working our flexibility last one well done bend your left knee again and this time place your foot in front of your right leg make sure that your right leg is in line with your body then exhale lift your right leg up inhale lower so you just lift and lower eight more of these working the inner thigh of our right leg now just two more last one hold your leg lifted flex your foot and pulse the leg up for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one ten more nine eight seven six five four three two and one well done lower your leg down let's press ourselves up now onto our hip and take your right hand out just a few inches in front of your shoulder make sure that your right leg is crossed over your left and on your inhale reach your left arm overhead and come up into a plank and exhale carefully come back down so you inhale press to your side plank exhale lower just three more I really want you to find length through the left side of your body as you press up to your plank last one hold in your plank find a little extra length and then rotate your chest to the mat coming in to your full arm plank inhale press your hips back exhale draw your right knee in towards your chest so inhale press back exhale pull the knee in towards your chest just eight more making sure that each time you shift forward into your plank that your shoulders come over your wrists really drawing your navel in and getting those abs fired up let's do two more last one hold in your plank and just alternate knees you pull and pull nice exhale and exhale just six more five four three two 
and one. Beautiful job. Press back into a downward facing dog. Pedal your heels to release any tension and then carefully lower back down onto your knees. Okay, coming on to the other side. Let's come down onto our left side now, resting our head in our hand. Extend your legs out long and then rotate your right thigh outwards so your heels are together with your toes turned out. Bend your right knee, extend your leg up, then flex your foot and lower the leg down. So inhale as you develop the leg up to the sky. Exhale as you flex your foot and squeeze the leg down with control. Try to keep your hips stacked on top of one another as best you can and keep everything else nice and still and relaxed. Let's do three more and two. Last one. Well done. Let's kick the leg straight up now, then lower. So inhale, kick up, exhale, flex and lower. Just eight more of these. Really working our inner thighs here. Really try to resist the lower of your leg, squeezing your thighs together as you close your legs. Only two more. Last one. Well done. Bend your right knee, set your right foot in front of your left thigh. Make sure your left leg is in line with your body and let's lift the leg up and down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Just eight more. Really reach through your left toes, finding length through your left leg. Two more. Last one. Hold your leg lifted, flex your foot, and let's pulse the leg up. Four, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, ten more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Release your leg back down. Press yourself up onto your hip, and let's get ready for that side plank series. So this time your left hand is slightly in front of your left shoulder and your right foot is crossed in front of your left. On your inhale, let's press up to our side plank and exhale lower. So inhale, press up and reach. Exhale, control back down. Three more. Really trying to control the lower as best you can. Last one, hold in your plank, find a little extra reach through that right arm. Then set your right hand down, coming into your plank position. Inhale, press your hips back. Exhale, pull your knee across your body this time. So inhale, downward dog. Exhale, pull the knee across. Eight more. Making sure you shift your shoulders over your wrists as you come forward into your plank and keeping your navel drawing up towards your spine, really engaging our abdominals. Just two more. Last one. And now just pull the knees across your body. You pull and pull. Just eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Set your knees down and release your hips back to your heels. Okay, we are now coming into our final section of class. And for the end of class, I have a challenging but fun little teaser sequence for you. So let's come down onto our backs to start. 
Keeping your knees bent, close your thighs together and then extend your right leg out but keep your knees squeezing together. Reach your arms overhead by your ears. On your inhale, lift your head and shoulders, hold on to the back of your thighs to lift yourself up to seated. Switch your legs and then exhale, lower yourself all the way down with control. And again, inhale, you roll up using your hands to help you. Switch your legs. Exhale, come all the way down. That's your first option. Second option is to let go of your legs and do the same sequence without the help of your hands. You can do it. Inhale as you come up. Switch your legs. Exhale as you lower. Next challenge is to extend both legs, squeezing your thighs together. On your inhale, roll your upper body up, finding that teaser position. Exhale, keep your legs where they are and just roll your upper body down. And again, inhale as you roll up. This is super challenging. Exhale as you lower. Remember, you can always stick with that first option. I was shaking at this point. Let's do one more. You can do it. And then hold at the top and place your hands back behind you with your fingertips facing away from you, keeping your legs extended. If that's too challenging, you can always come down onto your forearms. You pick your option. Turn your legs out with your heels together and your toes turned out and really lift through your chest. Let's circle our legs down and around and lift in one direction. You can do it. Just two more. Inhale as you lower, exhale as you lift. Last one. And then reverse it. Circle it to the other way and up. This is super challenging. Really squeeze those thighs together. Just one more. Well done. Bend your knees, press yourself up, open your knees to the side, bring the soles of your feet together. Take a nice inhale, lengthening through your spine and exhale, fold forward. Releasing any tension through your hip flexors taking a nice little breather after that challenging teaser sequence. Okay, from here, lift your chest and let's come in to our seal. So keeping your knees open and your toes together, take your hands in the inside of your legs and wrap them around so that they're holding on to the outside of your feet. Shift your weight back a little bit so that you can take your toes off the floor. Inhale, find length through your spine, finding your balance. Then exhale, tuck your chin in, round your spine back. Then inhale, come up, find your balance. Exhale, round your spine, rock back and lift back up. This should feel really nice for your spine. One more like this. Now you can stay with the seal or let's come into our open leg rocker. Holding on to the outside of your legs now. Extend your legs out, making a nice narrow V with your legs. Inhale, lengthen through your spine, finding your balance, opening through your chest. Then exhale, round your spine back, tucking your chin in. Inhale, come up. This one is really hard. So stick with that first option if you need to. You've got it, finding that straight spine at the top. Last one, hold at the top, close your legs together, and then wherever you are, let's all come into our boat pose. So knees bent, squeezing your thighs together, relax through your shoulders. This is your final little push. Just five more seconds, four, three, two, and one Whew. well done guys lower your legs down extend your legs out long take a nice inhale reaching your arms up and exhale fold forward over your legs 
Take nice deep breaths here. Then carefully roll the length of your spine up and let's come all the way back down to our backs. Shuffle your heels in towards your glutes. Make sure they're hips distance apart. And then pressing through your heels, let's lift our hips up into our bridge position. Press through your shoulders and then option to interlace your hands behind your back, rolling your shoulders underneath feeling a nice little extra lift through your hips and extra opening through your chest and heart center. Then release your hands and carefully roll your hips back down. Cross your right foot over your left thigh, flexing your right foot and then hug your left knee in towards your chest, releasing through your right glute. Then release your arms out by your side, drop your legs over to the left as you look over your right shoulder. Finding a nice twist here. Carefully make your way back through center and let's switch sides, cross your left foot over your right and hug your right knee in towards your chest. Open your arms out to the side and drop your legs to the right as you look over your left shoulder. Carefully make your way back through center and let's stretch our arms and legs out nice and long on the mat. Then carefully roll on to your side and press yourself up to seated. Keeping your right knee bent, let's extend our left leg out to the side. Inhale, reach your right arm up. Exhale, side bend over to your left. Gazing up towards the sky if that feels good for you. Then back through center, let's switch legs. Inhale, reach your left arm up and exhale, side bend to the right. Breathing into the side of your body here. Then carefully come back up, cross your legs, sitting up nice and tall. Let's finish class like always with one last big inhale, reaching your arms up to the sky and exhale hands lower down to prayer thank you so much everyone i hope you enjoyed this full body pilates workout i know that last little section of class was quite challenging but remember just be patient with yourself do what you can and over time you will get stronger and be able to do more and more if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, share this video with a friend or family member and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much everyone and I look forward to seeing you next time.